Hello everyone, Spectre here. Welcome back to another Marvel content channel video. Happy Halloween everybody. I hope you can hear me well through this. You know, in my, my, my Halloween costume. So, uh, but yeah, what's more spookier than ranking up a bad champion? And, uh, yeah, we're going to be making the probably the biggest mistake of my contest career. But we're going to do it nonetheless because I said I would. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be going to our six stars here. Uh, I already took in rank four, and I have so many good champions here. You know, I could rank up Ant-Man, uh, or She-Hulk, or Absorb Man, Nick Fury, or Hercules. You know, I, I even have, um, Deadpool at rank four, but I would love to take to rank five, just because, you know, I love Deadpool. But that's not what we're gonna be doing today. We're ranking up Cyclops here. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, he's at rank 4 already, like I said, so, you know, there's only one way to take him up even further. And that is going to be rank 5. So, as you can see, we got all the stuff here. I was able to get all the tier 6 basic and tier 3 alpha with all my uh, Battlegrounds tokens. And, uh, yeah, here we go. Able to rank him up. So, I, I, I'm able to rank 5 him sooner than I thought. I didn't think I'd be able to rank 5 him for a while. I knew I was going to rank 5 him, but I didn't think it'd be this soon. But like I said, we have so many trophy tokens with all this, uh, you know, the Battleground Blitz stuff. So I was like, yeah, fuck it. Let's buy let's buy all the Tier 6 and Tier 3 alphas we need. And uh, yeah, he's already at level 47. And uh, I don't think I have any more Mutant ISO, so we're just going to give them... Just random class ISO, which I'm totally fine with. I, I'm taking up, I'm taking this guy all the way up to 65. You know, I'm committed. It's already a mistake. Why not? Why not make a couple more mistakes and feed him some wrong class ISO? And here he is, rank five, unascended Cyclops. Let's look at our rank fives here, and you will see that all of them are ascended. You know, when I rank five someone. I don't just not ascend them. We're going all the way. Yep. <laughs> ascended Cyclops, baby. Rank 5 and Ascended. On a on the live server. So you you know we're, we're committed to the bit. Uh, also, you know, Psycho Bullseye's unawakened. I have a couple awaiting gems. Might as well make all my five stars. Awakened and stuff like that. And let's let's make it look like it. We duped it naturally. So we got some six stones here, and then we got a bunch of generics. So we're only going to give them about fourteen, just to make it twenty, and even twenty. And uh, what's, wait, hold on. What what sig is my cyclops? I know I duped them a lot naturally. Like like what sig is? Oh, he's a natural sig one hundred. Ew. Uh, but once we get to the gameplay, uh, I do want to note that I did end up taking this guy all the way up to SIG 200. Because, uh, you know, I didn't hate myself enough. <laughs> but yeah, now that he is at rank 5 and ascended, let's get on to some rank 5 ascended Cyclops gameplay. Alright, so right here we just got your standard Winter Soldier fight. Uh, this is a Cyclops uh, SIG 200 by now. And uh, no synergy teams. Like, this is just Cyclops. So, yeah, what you're seeing is just Cyclops at its fullest potential. Uh, I do got two uh, fights against this Realm of Legends Winter Soldier. Uh, this one is, we're just going to be going for special twos. And then the next fight, we're going to be going for special ones. Just because I'm curious as to see, you know, which one is more effective. Uh, the key to Cyclops is you just want to stack as many armor breaks as possible, uh, which both specials do place on armor breaks. Uh, it's not it's not super consistent. You will see that sometimes we do place an armor break, sometimes we don't. Uh, and these are pretty pretty chunky armor breaks. You know, like uh, you will notice that we are dealing a lot more damage once you get those armor breaks on there. So uh, yeah, just saw a 17k medium crit, which is. It's not great, but, you know, it could be worse. And, um, Cyclops' crit, like, his crit rate is, I'd say it's pretty average. I was thinking that, like, oh, it's actually above average. But then, like, the more I play and the more I'm like, okay, now I was just getting lucky. His crit rate is, is, is decent. Um, 
But yeah, that was the, the Winter Soldier, and if we pause it here, that is 87 hits, and um, the fight was, you know, a minute and a half long, so not great DPS, you know, a minute and, you know, 90 seconds to take down the Winter Soldier at rank 5, SIG 200, and Ascended, not the greatest. Alright, I seem to have misplaced the footage of me uh, defeating Winter Soldier using only special ones, and I mean, just to, you know, just to summarize it, um, the timing was the exact same, a minute 30 seconds, and it was actually more hits, so I do think in terms of short fights, uh, the special two is more effective, but we'll, we'll get into, you know, longer fights once we get to, like, the Labyrinth of Legends Red Hulk, and here we got a full synergy team with Cyclops, uh, you know, we're increasing the crit damage of his special attacks, um, we are also increasing the duration of the armor break, so we're able to stack up more and more armor breaks, and uh, that is going to be where our damage is really going to scale pretty highly. And uh, yeah, we're just getting Winter Soldier down. One thing I do like about Cyclops is that once you have a combo of 20 or higher, his special attack, or, like his beam hits, are unblockable, which is pretty nice. And uh, yeah, you'll be seeing that later, you know, if our specials do crit. They, they crit for a lot. Like, look at that. That was a couple crits there. You know, 35,000 crit. Not not bad. Not bad off the special one. And, uh, yeah, here we go. Got that Winter Soldier down in... Oh, dude. Dang it. I didn't get uh, to see the stats. But, you know, that was a quicker fight. Uh, it was a minute and 10 seconds, which is much, much better. Uh, still kind of slow in my opinion, but you know what? It's an improvement. All right, so here we are against the Labyrinth of Legends Red Hulk. I believe this fight, I only used my special ones. I was looking a bit and I was only using special ones, which I do think is the play. Uh, we are, of course, running the full synergy team with Cyclops as well. And uh, yeah, just, just to preface, with that, without the synergies, he sucks. He is horrible. Um, Especially the Havoc Synergy. I do want to point out the Havoc Synergy. Uh, the Havoc Synergy makes his armor breaks 100% uh, uh, like increase the duration by 100% so they're twice as long. And that is actually huge. Because look, we have six armor breaks on him right now. And uh, yeah, before that, you know, these armor breaks, they, they come and go like so fast. Like you, you use one special attack and you probably get one combo off. But like with the, the increased duration, you will see that later we are able to stack up like 9, sometimes 10. And, uh, yeah, for damage can be crazy, but it's still, I mean, for a full synergy team around him, it's still not the greatest. I was really going into this thinking, okay, I can't wait to see the damage numbers. Um, and, yeah, it's just, like, just not that impressive. His uh, special attacks, if they don't crit, they're very, very underwhelming. And, uh, you know, he does not do this fight fast at all. I believe this is like a four minute, three and a half minute fight. Uh, and again, this is a rank five ascended. And look at that. Just very, very underwhelming. And uh, the reason I do think the special one is the way to go is because you're able to, like, that's how you stack on the most armor breaks. Like, the special two is good for just quick, like, burst, but if, for, like, long form stuff, I do think if you really want to maximize his damage output overall, special one. It, again, it's just, like, your special attacks are going to be doing the most damage, so you want to be using the special attacks more often. You want to stack on more armor breaks. So, again, it's just the special one. His basic attacks don't do nothing. Uh, his special two doesn't scale that highly compared to using two special ones. So, again, you, 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 I'm, I know I'm repeating myself, but I'm just prefacing that special one is the way to go. Um, and, yeah, this is just a very, very underwhelming champion. Uh, I, I, I really thought it was going to be pretty cool, especially with the full Sanji team, but it's still... Yeah, it's still pretty bad. So, I guess, to answer the question, does he need a buff? Yes. He does need a buff. He does almost nothing in this game. He has, like, 
He has no utility at all. And his damage is not that is not great at all. Like yeah, he could hit a you know, he could hit a couple, you know, big crits, but again, look at that. No crits and just the damage is so underwhelming. His basic attacks are pretty underwhelming at all, or as well. And just like, yeah, he is just taking so long to get through this fight. Like, yeah, that 46k crit looks nice, but you're probably not going to get that 50% of the time. And uh, yeah, that is, that's Cyclops versus the, the Labyrinth Red Hulk. And uh, if we just pause here, oh dang it. All right, so if I pause it here. All right, we see 195 hits. Uh, so yeah, it was 200 hits. Uh, the fight took around four minutes. Uh, well, just under four minutes, so yeah, the damage is pretty bad. Um, yeah, that has been the rank five Ascended Cyclops, and uh, yeah, very, very underwhelming. <laughs> but yeah, that, that'll, be, that'll be all for today. Uh, happy Halloween, and goodbye. Mm.